When John Platt goes to his garage, it's not to get a tool or check on his car. He's opening the door to his man cave, which is also like a museum of music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. I get them from all over the world. The garage is filled with cassette tapes, which most music companies stopped producing 20 years ago. I enjoy them mainly because they're durable and they're easier to have around, and a lot of music that's been transferred today to digital has been lost through the years. I have tapes you can't even find on the internet. Hey, let me see something from Billy Joel. He can lay his hands on Billy anything Joel, in the yeah, alphabetized yeah. collection. Uh, my collection is organized just like a library. There's all the Billy Joel. John has been trying since 2006 to get into the Guinness Book of World Records and may finally be close. His application has been accepted. Now he just has to get a few things in order before the judges will come. The largest collection he's heard of is about 10,000 tapes, which he can beat easily. There is 18,315. And the number is growing every day. I've never seen one I didn't want. <laughs> No duplicates can be counted for the world record, no mixtapes, and everyone must have a barcode. Aha, there it is. Yes. He has to try out all 18,000 of them. Place perfect. And though most of us think of cassettes as being fragile, that doesn't concern John. He can get them working again quickly with pieces of tape, paper, or a cigarette lighter. And it'll hold as long as you don't bang it around. John likes all types of music, from Merle Haggard to Fleetwood Mac, Alice Cooper to Ella Fitzgerald, but he has a clear favorite. If you don't have Pink Floyd in your collection, you don't have a collection. Vinyl records have made somewhat of a comeback recently. Could the same thing happen with cassettes? I, I have not lost hope. Since I started this, it, it's surprising how many people still love them so much. These are new tapes that have just come in. John says three-fourths of his collection has been given to him. He says keep them coming, even though his garage won't hold much more. I've already talked with friends about that. We're adding on uh, another eight-foot section outside the garage door. In Burnside, Marvin Bartlett with the Spirit of the Bluegrass.